the wee witch. Broom, broom. This was the week, the week of the time trials for the great broom race. All the witches in all the land had traveled to a small town to compete. Lily, the wee witch, was adding ribbons to her broom. I will have the prettiest broom. I shall surely win. She spun around, lifting her broom high above her head. Her mother smiled. It looks lovely, sweetheart. But don't you think your time would be better spent practicing? It's been weeks since I've seen you work on your sprints and turns. The course always has magical surprises and you have to be ready for anything. Oh, mom, Lily brushed her off. I won last year. I can easily do it again and I'll look good doing it. Her mother shook her head. The next day, the sun rose high in the sky, casting its rays and lighting up the leaves and the trees that had started turning colors for fall. The air was crisp, perfect for racing. Today was the first heat. There would be a race each day with the winners earning the chance to compete on the final day to win the grand prize. Lily woke up excited, jumping up and down. Today is the day I shall win, she exclaimed. She put on her prettiest outfit and grabbed her sparkliest hat. Darling, don't you think a plainer outfit would be better, more aerodynamic, help you win, her mother suggested. No, mama, Lily dismissed. I want to look good when I win. Lily picked up her fancy broom and headed to the starting line. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, she announced. Oh, Lily, you look so good, her friend Daisy said. Why, thank you, Daisy. I want to look good for my win, Lily announced. Oh, well, I'm gonna go stretch, make sure I'm ready to do my best, Daisy said. That's a good idea for you. I don't need to stretch. I've got this, Lily bragged. Racers, get ready, announced Rose, the head witch of all the land. All the witches got ready with their brooms. All the racers said together, magic, magic, let us ride. Magic, magic, to the finish side. Rose smiled and said, magic, magic, here's the show. Magic, magic, off you go. The race was on. The brooms and their riders flew into the sky, looping around trees, flying under logs, and whooshing past birds. Lily quickly took the lead. Ha ha, I knew it, she shouted, turning her head so the other competitors could hear. At that moment, a magic cloud appeared. Lily turned her head and tried to zip below it, but she was too late and too out of practice. She flew straight into the cloud. Poof! She appeared back at the starting line. Curses! She cried and sped off to catch up. But it was too late. Daisy had crossed the finish line. How could this happen? I won last year, Lily stormed. Maybe you should practice tonight before the next qualifying heat tomorrow, her mother suggested. No way, I just need a good night's sleep. I will surely win tomorrow. Lily trudged home. The next morning, Lily woke up determined to win today's heat but the race went somewhat the same as the day before with Lily's lack of practice showing. This continued for another day. Finally, Lily decided to wake up early. There were just two more heats, today and tomorrow. And if she didn't win one, there would be no place for her in the championship race. She grabbed her broom and ripped off the ribbons. She went for a jog, dodging the trees in the magical forest. She got home just in time for breakfast. Just some oats and some berries, please, Mama, Lily requested. 
Her mother was surprised. But darling, you said, never mind what I said before. I am serious now. I will win. I can do this. I have no time for a large breakfast, Mom. I've got to get in some flying drills for the starting line. Lily gulped her oats and berries and was off like a strong wind to grab her broom. She practiced quick turns, steep dives, and loop-de-loops. She was having so much fun practicing, she almost didn't make it to the starting line in time. Where were you? Getting ready to lose? Dandelion taunted. Nope, I was practicing so I can make you eat sky, Lily replied. Racers, get ready, Rose announced. All the racers said together, magic, magic, let us ride. Magic, magic, to the finish side. Magic, magic, here's the show. Magic, magic, off you go. Lily was off. She zipped around a fallen tree, dodged the fairy magic trap, and almost made it to the finish line when a gust of wind carried her high into the sky. By the time she flew down, the race was done. I'm sorry, honey. You worked so hard, her mother said. I know, mama, but I'm gonna keep trying, keep working. I forgot how fun practicing and training could be. Don't wait up. I'm going to practice flying against the wind. I'll be home for dinner. Off Lily went to get better and better. Lily's eyes opened. This was it, the final heat. She had to win today. She got up early again and warmed up after breakfast. At the starting line, she chanted the final lines of the race incantation. Magic, magic, here's the show. Magic, magic, off you go. She was off. She could see her friend Daisy and her mom cheering her on from the sidelines. Whoosh! She sped through the course and with one last mighty burst, she passed the finish line first. She was so proud and happy. Daisy came running up to her. Congratulations, you did it! Now we get to race together tomorrow. I guess we're rivals again. Lily beamed and asked, Daisy, do you want to train for the final race together? Daisy agreed and the two friends went off to get ready for the big race tomorrow. The end. Feel free to write your own ending for the big race.